Dykes. I'm, I'm Paula Parks Fitzhugh. Uh, he's Clark Garrett. Uh, I think I'm going back to my maiden name of Paula Parks. My kids are last name Fitzhugh, but Jackson wants to change his name to Parks to carry on the family tradition in my side. And he's just sticking with Garrett, unless I convince him I'm, otherwise. I'm going to stick with, you know, my name is Clark Garrett, and I've got Emma, Sam, and Bailey. Um, I had thought about changing my name to Parks so I could be Clark Parks. Um, <laughs> we met three years ago when our five oldest boys were in Scouts together, and we're friends for years. Almost a year ago, started kind of hanging out. He helped me change lights in the house and do all the manly stuff, and things just went from there. Yeah, we, uh, she called me over to the house one afternoon to um, help her change out some lights. We had a, a no rule that we were not going to, we were just friends at first and that's the way it was going to be for a long time. And then um, she broke the rules. So in the future, we're looking forward to a wedding soon. Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure when, we're still going day by day of merging the two families. But looking forward to that with the seven kids and then just combining the families and getting them all grown and out the door and off to college to tackle the world. Well, um. The biggest problem right now is making sure that everybody has a, has a bed to sleep in and um, getting everybody up and out the door by 7.30 every, every morning ready for school. So um, those are the challenges that we have. And we also have seven different appetites, um, seven different tastes. Um, There's no meal that everybody eats. Not everybody likes the same thing. Everybody likes something different. We can't even agree on the same television show, or um, so it's just it's just different. It's just a, you know the blending of the two families makes it a little difficult, but at the same time it makes it fun. And making sure they all have their own time separate, and it's not always one big group, because then they get on each other's nerves, and they all need their own time. And it's never a dull moment. No. There are seven total. The funny part is when we first went off together as one big family, went to um, Virginia for a weekend. We left the little one at home with grandmother and they automatically paired themselves off. Emma and Colin, Ryan and Bailey, Sam and Jack. My three are completely different children. They just shared a uterus. Ryan is my athletic boy who used to competitively swim. He gave it up recently, but he's, he's my athlete. Jackson is my little historian that falls asleep with a history book on his face every night. Colin is my video boy. Um, he's all about the video games and the girls. Owen is, is all boy at five and is incredibly busy and incredibly creative and inquisitive, but also smart as a whip. But he never, ever, ever keeps things dull. He is constantly on the go. Emma, of course, being the only girl, tries to get everything that she thinks she deserves because she is the only girl. She's 12 and she, uh, she does it quite well. Emma is very much into her phone. Um, she practically <laughs> lives on her phone. She lives on her iPhone. She's always texting or playing. And my twins are Sam and Bailey. They're 10 years old. Bailey and Sam had been in scouts for a number of years. Sam wants to learn to play the guitar. Bailey, he's very much into his Legos still and Star Wars. You know, the, the modern family to me is blended families. It's large families. It's But family is not DNA. And even in the year that we've been together, our seven are so incredibly protective over each other. But it's, it's how they feel about each other and how we feel about each other and how we respect and treat each other's kids.